Hello. We're here. It does not feel like a Tuesday. But it is. Oh, I'm actually supposed to listen to that to make sure everything's going correctly. La 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 la. Yeah, okay. All right. We shall get started picking our airport to which we will fly into. I'm going to try and expedite the process a little bit. Ah, Gumpy. Sounds like grumpy. Crocs. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> um, Here we go. Um, and then I go like, um, not that one. Uh, that one. Uh, there we go. Okay. So we're in this area. So we got Gumpy. Sounds like grumpy. Um, and we got Crocs. Um, click. Excellent. So we got Dublin right here. I was looking at my for flight and yeah that might be a good one so we're gonna quick check it's got a localizer so that's good uh our plan is dang it <laughs> um well hang on uh how how do you not have a vr when so is there something no mm, what is the difference between a tack hand and a vor approach <laughs> And why can't it have a VOR approach here? Dang it. Hello, hello. How's it going? Just discussing IFR approach with a friend of mine. Yes. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> is it a good one? Is it an interesting one? I'm uh, I'm very upset because this is like probably the perfect airport, but it doesn't have a VOR approach, even though it's right next to a tag hand. Again, then that raises the question, can you not have, how does a TACAN approach differ from a VOR approach? I don't know these things. Okay, it is, oh, 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 that makes a lot of sense. Okay, never mind. Thank you. TACAN is uh, ultra high frequency, VOR is very high frequency, distance measuring is both uh, very high frequency. Okay, that makes sense. Because I have, I've seen like the TACAN versus the VOR approach and it's one of those things from private private training where I just lumped all of them together, the VOR, the DME, and the TACAN, and now I have to separate them <laughs> on the mental shelves. Uh, okay, so I was hoping to be able to, and mm, I was hoping to be able to do, well, maybe we will go down to into the V, well, yeah, that one would work. Okay, we might be doing this one. Uh, just TACAN is military and VOR, DME is civilian. Okay, that that does, that makes absolute sense. <laughs> oh gosh, it is, it's those things that I don't, oh, Bacon County, is that what I'm in? Hang on, we might be doing Bacon County. Broken at 300, we could do that, that sounds like fun. Um, where am I? A M G, K A M G. Bacon. K well, mine says as of ten minutes ago, it is not I F R. So we shall forego the bacon, unfortunately. So I was looking at this one. This one has a V O R. It has an I L S. So we. Oops. So we're probably just going to do that one. Even though it's within an MOA. So we'll go over that a little bit. Uh, speaking of which, looking at the high tack and for runway three right into Nellis. All right, we're going to... Eh. Wait, I can't do that. How do I search on here? Where is that? What's the ICAO for that? Actually, can I just... No. I can look on here. Nellis AFB or Nellis Field? I assume the AFB. So procedure approach, high tack and three right. Map. And that is, ooh, ooh, so the, oh, okay, I'll get it up here. Okay, oops. Ah. KLSV, there. And this one. This one, open. Three right. So I see little uh, 
I don't know what you call that little the little stripes up at the top. So does is that because it's specifically the does that that's the military one, correct? Because that's all the tac can. So there's high tac and there's low tac and. So would a what's the difference between high tac and and, and tac and? All right. So we got the stripies up at the top, which is because high tac and or military. KLSV, NLS AFB should be LSV. Yep, yep, okay. Okay, so it's the tac and channel 12, approach course 29 degrees, 10,000 feet. That's amazing. All right, got that. When ALS and OB increase, ALS and OB increase, takeoff minimums different. Got the ALSIF one. High will keep you high until last minute, so to speak. It takes into account that fighters can drop quickly. Ooh, okay, cool. So then just the regular attack hand is like a regular approach, probably somewhat higher, but just not as high. They're trying to keep you clear of civilian traffic coming oh, out of Vegas. Not for civil use. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I don't, I don't understand what this stuff means. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a holding pattern, circling not authorized east of runway, three right, so this one, two one left. So no circling this way, I think. Right? <laughs> Quarries use of RNAV. Oi, oi, oi. This is a lot. <laughs> like, it doesn't seem like it, but just adding all of the different things. Vertical velocity. Oh, oh, interesting, interesting. So, vertical velocity in feet per minute. Oh, that's super cool. Controlling obstacle. What does that mean? And why is it dotted? <laughs> okay. Plan on recording this for a video later, perhaps tomorrow or the day after. Excellent. Sounds good. So I'll understand some things, kind of. Interesting. Okay. And there's this... Bl below minima requires missed approach climb gradient of... For the straight in... So is that, I'm trying to understand. So this is, that's the 4,500 RVR. That's a 2280 for the MDA or is that a DA? I assume that would be a DA, correct? But, but circling is a, I don't know. 447 is. what it is above the stuff in parentheses is what applies to you in this case but this stuff isn't in parentheses and it's not for civilian use so technically wouldn't all of it apply to you if you're coming at it from a military aircraft sort of thing hello how's it going <laughs> We're looking at a high tack and chart here quick. And then and then we'll and then we'll get back to <laughs> um what we're what we're doing. Cause yeah, so if it's not for civil use, then that would um imply that all of this is for military use. Ha 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 ha. Good. Good, I'm glad. And good. Do it good. There's yeah, a lot going on. <laughs> so it's been a little bit of a um yeah, yeah, a little bit deer in headlights at the moment, but yeah, doing pretty good. Thank you. There are other air aircraft besides, uh, okay, just fighters that use this, which may or may not fall under the letter of agreement with the FAA. What does that mean then? Because 
Zamp. I'm still on the not 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 for civil use thing. And what do you mean letter of agreement with the FAA? And while you tell me that, we're gonna get our thing together. You're currently planning your air venture trip. I did some of that today. Um, how is it going? How is it going? Are you like? Like what shows you're going to go to? Are you going to go to any um, presentations and or forums or whatever those things are? There's so many. It's 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 kind of difficult to choose. Um, yes. So I think we're. Yes, we're going to shoot. Where were we going to? We were going to Dublin, I think. Nope. Valdosta. Because yes, Valdosta is K Kilo Victor Lima Delta. Kilo Victor Lima Delta. So we're gonna, I don't know, take off from like what there? Mm, I don't know. So we're gonna quick look at the. Um, I might try to do, because it has one of each, I think. So we can do an ILS. Ooh, excellent. So we'll do the ILS mist. VOR potentially partial panel. I'll, I'll see if I am, if I can. Um, and then we'll try to do the do an RNAV one, maybe, if we get that far. Um, yeah. Because I'm trying to get into check ride mode and just, like, bang, 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 and I'm out. So, okay. Hello, hello. How's it going? Oh, I have to go up a little bit. Ah, oh, no. Uh, the notum is 32 pages. Right. I did look at that. I was like, eh, really? Uh, that's, a, that's a lot. But, I mean, you, again, you're flying into it. So you have to read that. I don't have to read that. <laughs> uh, I, I, I probably will peruse it. Is there anything particularly of interest in it or anything? Yeah, anything weird? So with the exception of certain high-performance aircraft, typically fighters, military aircraft will adhere to FAA regulations in peacetime due to the letter of agreement. Right, with the FAA. This is because the FAA doesn't have jurisdiction over the military. Right, right. Right. <laughs> but but I still think the parentheses applies to anything out of the parentheses applies to you as well because it's not for some of you. <laughs> I'm probably just, I don't know, not misunderstanding things. Haven't decided on a day-to-day -day plan yet, but you'd like to attend some builder workshops. Right. Excellent. I have. I've been looking at those. There's there's a lot of them, so I think I'll be able to slip some in places. Um, but yeah, I have. It's there is. There's just so many, and I'm there. There's like IFR ones that I kind of want to look into, um, since that's what I'm doing right now. But I should. I I think I should do some just general fun ones <laughs> as well. Not get too um uptight about it. A lot of the notum doesn't apply to you like IFR procedures, warbird, and ultra flight arrivals. Right. So you can cut out a lot of pages. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. That's good. Okay. That, you know, that makes a lot more sense now that it's 32 pages because of all the things. Got you. Okay. I will. I will, I will peruse it. I did get it and I started looking over it and then my brain went. So I, I stopped. I'll get there. Uh, so following the logic, your assumption is the chart is made to be FAA compliant since it is also published with the FAA. There's also a scenario where military bases can be used in emergency by civilian aircraft. Okay, interesting. Though that's a last resort as you'd expect. Right, right. Well, the one thing too, though, is here, I'll get back into it. So the one thing that I have heard is that that it is. It's the parentheses stuff is for military people. But then in the book, itself it also says that it doesn't apply to military people either so then it's like who does it apply to so basically the parentheses you use for like minimum um like your weather minimums basically because it yeah because it it yeah 
because it rounds it up all the time, you know? So, like, that's where you would actually be able to... If you use that as your ceiling and your visibility, you get down to those minimums, you'll be able to see it, if that makes sense. I don't know. As a disclaimer, you're just guessing here. I mean, same, same. <laughs> so we're good. We're good. Don't take any of this seriously. We're just, we're trying as well. Uh, am I going for the whole week? I may or may not be going for the whole week. <laughs> um, yes, 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 I am. Um, and I'm going to try and I, I have some companions at different times. So I will be, yeah, try, trying to maneuver things in that respect. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and squish in as much as possible. Um, yeah, I'm, I am. I'm, I'm really excited. I remember going and I remember really enjoying it, but I feel like I'm going to enjoy it a lot more now that I'm actually into it. So will you be, okay, you are, your plan is Monday, Monday through Friday, weather permitting. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. It looks like it's going to be good. I think I'll have to look again, but yeah, I am. I'm, I'm really excited. And I hope I saw somebody say that usually every year there's some sort of precipitation and or storm, but we can hope for the best. There's always, there's always the chance. Oh, excellent. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's almost here. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh, so we're going to go over just a like quick, go over this sort of stuff. Um, we're going to fly out of, sorry, fly. Mm, ew, we're going to go from Moody. We will. We'll plan from Moody. Can you... Is there a way to switch, <laughs> switch that without having to? Kavold, Kavad. Kavad. Kavold. And yes, I know that these are Air Force bases, but, or maybe just the one is. Mm, hang on. We're going to fly out of equipment. <gasps> and this one. Equipment. <gasps> no, that's not what I wanted. I definitely know how this works. Equipment is for Juliet Fiverr. For Juliet Fiverr. It's not Air Venture without a storm. No, no. <laughs> I gotta refigure my outfits then. Last time you flew in, they got five inches of the rain in the day prior. Oh my gosh. That made things interesting. I bet. I bet. So I haven't I haven't had experience with that so what do you end up doing does somebody come with a big squeegee or <laughs> like is it just I I know you can land but that would be one of those things where I'd be like mm -mm, nope not doing it oi <laughs> I think they should have a big squeegee like a big zamboni squeegee I think that would be helpful um you want five inches of rain, all you get is deadly sun that hurts. I got so much sun this weekend. Oh, oh I was going to do, I was, I was going to do the pilot edge thing. And then my weekend, I, w I was, I was not home at all. I, the small ones had a sports, sports things. So yeah, it was, it, it was, yeah, it was hot, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. All right. So we're coming from here. So green means go. Green is, it has an approach of some kind. <laughs> it has an approach of some kind. That sounds correct. Um, um, uh, 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 IFR route the thing. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. We're coming from here. We're going to here. So we're going to figure out the, we're Valdosta. We started figuring it out. So we're going to do the ILS localizer and then we'll foop in for the VOR. So we're coming to, um, coming from, sorry. Ah, we're going to what? What? What are we going to? I don't know. Initial approach fix. I need to figure out initial approach fix. I'll, Greenville. Where is Greenville? Greenville is 
Oh, actually, Valdosta, does it have a, an arrival? No, it does not. Oh, okay. It's been two weeks of nonstop hundreds here with another week of hundreds on the way. No. Oh, oh that, that's, that's not fun. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a good time to stay in and sim then, though. <laughs> a lot of the grounds was too saturated to park planes. <gasps> so a lot of planes got turned away until it started drying out. Okay. So then was that, was that a diversion situation where they had to go disperse to other um, airports? Interesting. Ooh. Um, okay. So ICAO code, the 185 is elevation. L, I think that might mean pilot controlled where it's in the circle. Five zero is five thousand is the longest runway. Yep. Oh, interesting. Well, and so then that saturates all the other airports. Then, huh? And that's why we plan these things. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. All right. So, sorry. I am. I'm ugh, out of it. Uh, Keg Greenville. So we're coming from. Greenville, we want to get to, so we have an IAF here, so we need to get to basic. Um, um, we have a lead radial. So if we're, oh, so if we're coming from here, we lead radial here. What? Or we lead... I don't understand. Um, so what we're probably going to do is we're going to go to the VOR, go out. Hang on. No, we can't do that, can we? Hang on. Um, maybe we'll do the VOR first. VOR approach, do a mist, and then... Climb out to do the localizer? Because. <laughs> because there's no procedure turn indicated here. So you're supposed to be coming from one of these then maybe. So maybe we will. We'll do that. We'll GPS our way there. Pretend we're getting radar vectored. Localizer in. Go into the hold. And then. Oops. That's the other one. And then bop out to the whichever VOR we're going to be able to do, which we'll figure out in the hold, <laughs> which is a terrible idea, but that's what we're going to do. Ah, okay. So since this is our first one, we're going to quick go over it now and we'll do VOR in the hold. All right. So ILS or localizer runway tree five, Valdosta regional. Um, it is up to date. Most excellent. Uh, we're going to put in frequency 110.9, approach course 356, uh, landing length 8,000, we're good there, touchdown zone elevation 200, airport 203, not too much difference. We have uh, non-standard takeoff and alternate minimums, so we'll check those for in-op miles or increase uh, the straight in, all categories visibility to one mile, and localize it well, irrelevant for now, irrelevant for now because we're going to assume that it's there. Visibility reduction by helicopters or er, irrelevant. When local altimeter setting, irrelevant. Uh-huh, uh-huh. DME from the OTK, VOR DME. So we'll get that from here. <laughs> but we'll have it in the box. For in-op Mauser, um, irrelevant. Circling to runway 413 and 31 not authorized at night. So circling to 413 and 31. So 4, hang on. Was this cancel -y one? The 3, 1, and 3? No, hang on. That's 4. Hang on. What? 1, 3, and 3, 1. So this would be 1, 3, 3, 1, and it is closed anyway. So no circling to there or there or there. So we could circle to there or there, but we're going to plan to do mist anyway. 
Looks like a VOR handoff into final. Look this up. Take Gander edit. Um, where? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> um, do you mean which one? Which one do you mean? Oh, and I guess I can make this a little bit bigger for. Uh, um. So we got our ILS, which we will be able to use with the aircraft. So it'll be, okay, hang on. So uh, select setup. All right. So we look at our MSA, minimum safe altitude, is at the VOR, and it's 2200 all sides. Um, our missed approach, climb to 1200, then climbing left turn to 2000 direct to the BORD me and hold as depicted. Um, continue climb and hold to, to 2000. Climb to 12. Oh, okay. So we're climbing to 1200 and then we're climbing left turn. We eventually get to 2000, whether or not it's before the hold or in the hold. Okay. Looks like it's showing radials for other VORs, and then it shows radials from OTK that you would intercept to turn into the ILS. Or it could be horribly wrong. We'll find out. Well, but... Well, and that's the thing is... So, this is this shows the equipment you'll need. However, in the box, the DME comes from the OTK, the VOR. So, I would assume that the VOR is required <laughs> even though it's not it doesn't it doesn't say specifically VOR DME is required it says your DME you get from there so <sighs> it shows radials that you would intercept to turn into the ILS well yeah, so like it would be this one first. You'd get to your. So that's why I'm like, so are you supposed to go like here and then turn here and then go like that? Or like, I, to be honest, I'm not sure about this one. So I'm going to have to. We're for now, we're just going to come on here on. Let's see if that's a thing. Okay, I need to just look. OTK, where is, oh, no, not OTK. What's Greenville? G-E-F. It's there. Nine, four. Oh, coming, the localizer is going to be like over here. Okay. Um. Uh, I don't know. Um, we're we are we're gonna GPS to Facic. We're just gonna do it that way, unless I can figure out how to like VOR and then it or hang on hang on hang on hang on um there is not we are we're we're gonna we're gonna GPS ourselves to phasic and then we'll then we'll do things proper <laughs> we'll we'll be do getting radar vectors that's what we'll do all right decision made all right and then we localize her in um Okay, got that. Procedure, okay, procedure turn not authorized. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to look. Um, so we have to be above 2000 at Kire and ab above 2000 at the initial approach fix and then to Kire. And then to 
Kagi intersection. That's our final approach fix. We um, intercept the l localizer and glide slope, run it down, um, and once we hit 489, so we'll just go 500, um, we will execute missed approach if we do not see the runway, but we're going to execute the missed approach anyway. Um, yes. We need three quarter miles visibility, so we should probably check. All right, we have our METAR is. Can you see that? It's so small. Uh, when in doubt, radar vectors exactly. That's what my ATC buddy just told me an hour ago. Right, and I do, I do, I have to get better at that. I have to get better at the ATC stuff, and I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting there eventually. Of course, you're not simming a Cessna. Right, that's fair. That's fair. And no, you are, you are, you are supposed to. They're very helpful. They're very nice people. So, yeah. Um, why was I looking at that? I was looking at that for something. Oh, yeah, that's why. Uh, okay, so 10 statute miles broken at 200. Yeah, we have 10 statute miles visibility. Visibility. Excellent. Cool. Perfect. Um, so we're good there. And I think that's probably it. Um... 3-5 will have the Mauser. So if we're lined up on anything else, <laughs> unlikely, we will, yeah. And we might even try the time too. So we'll try to do 90 knots and we'll do 336 from the final approach fix just to see if we can make it work like that. If I forget, which I probably will, we won't. Okay, so that one's good. And then... Yes. Good. Excellent. So we're going to get that into a little nav map. Um, boop, 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 boom. Want, you can link him to, to me in a DM. He loves nerding out about this stuff. Sure. <laughs> you could. Okay. And I'll try not to be weird <laughs> as usual. Uh, I'll get a little nav map or I'll just quick do it since it's just the hang on i gotta get k k vlad and k vad add to route um just kidding for juliet five for juliet five switch okay adding to a little nav map uh for juliet five Add to set as flight plan departure. Um, cabled destination. Perfect. And we'll just leave it like that and see what happens. Um, exit. 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 Okay. There. He's cool. We normally just <gasps> at each other, so it's all good. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. And and well and 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 the thing is is like I am like I I'm, I'm getting to a point. So my instructor is like nudging me to get check ride in like in August, and I'm like yeah, and he's like fine end of August, and I'm like nah. So I'm starting to get to that like jittery phase you remember how that was where i'm freaking out all the time <laughs> yeah we're, we're getting to that we're getting to that point so i i don't know it might it it might just be a little bit much but it might also be really good for me so i don't know we'll see we'll see i do i appreciate i appreciate it <laughs> we'll just see if i can um make make myself do it all right, what am I doing? We're getting into the sim, I think, I hope. I I should, new device detected, keep default. Oh, usually I customize and then just not customize. We're going from, I could get the sim up, I guess, and I could put this stuff on, get everything together. <laughs> I apologize. I can kind of hear things. 
All right. Where's the thing? We'll get, where are you? Lights and boom and boom. I know I'm supposed to do like a flight plan and figure out alternate minimums and everything like that. Maybe we'll do a little bit of that while everything's coming up. Can you hear the music? I can't tell. You mod for the guys. I'm worried about being weird. Just remember he puts up with you. So I'd probably be an improvement. That's, that's fair. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to be very quiet for a little bit to see if I can hear the music. I almost feel like I can't I can't hear it. Arr! Can I hang on? Oh. Of course. Of course not. All right. Now maybe I can Yeah, yeah, there it goes. There it is. Okay. If you can hear it, we'll um see if you can hear the engine and everything once we get in the sim. All right. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Um, we got that there. And now I need to find for Juliet Fife Quitsman Brooks. So we're gonna ha <laughs> ha teensy weensy. Boom. Set as departure. Fly. We'll get the this up. Oh, that's gonna be terrible. Yes, yes, go away. Silly computer things. Ah. That's there. Um I am gonna need that for the first one. What am I doing? What have happened? There it is. Okay. Why it go away? <laughs> I'm sorry. What is happening? Tracker. There. Okay. So there we are. There we kind of are. And we'll go like so. And we'll go like so. Excellent. Um, perfect. Eh. So I'm going to set up for the approach on my view alert notum. Runway 1331 is closed permanently. Good to know. Good to know. ILS localizer. We're coming from FASIC. Add to route. Mmm, so excited. Ooh, it's kind of spooky looking. Oh, I was going to say, this doesn't look like IFR. Okay. All right. So we click and we click and we control, control lock off, control lock off, master start. Um, let me turn on the keto nav, don't have those, beacon. Taxi landing. Flaps go dern. How you doing? I feel like he didn't have a t shirt on before. Did they switch it? Thought it was like a long sleeve. Maybe not. <laughs> um, and then we go out and we <gasps> gaze up at the heavens. Oh, it's gorgeous. I like those trees over there. Lights, 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 lights. Excellent. And we're good. Um, uh, check fuel. We'll fill up before we go. And then we off, 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 off. Boom. Boom. Okay. And we go out. I can't see a thing. Boop. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Okay. All right, so we blow through it. Uh, static port, vents, um, pitot tube, drain hole. Oh, and we we're supposed to uh, 
Grasp the pitot tube and feel the heat. Don't take that out of context. Pitot tube drain hole, uh, fuel vent, stall horn, aileron, flap, um, baggage door, check the tire, elevator, elevator trim tab, rudder, all the antennas. Um, drain a little bit of fuel from each wing. Check that flap and aileron. Check the vents. That tire. Uh, oil. Uh, drain a little bit of fuel. Leading edge of the propeller. Yo, you feel like you need an adult after that? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Um, leading edge. Of the, the 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 thing, the propeller, leading edge of the propeller, alternator belt, uh, air intake, exhaust, um, nose wheel clearance. Yes. And then we check our checklist. Eh. Just gotta find the checklist now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes. Quantity, quality, caps, trains, vents, engine oil, belt, prop, air intake, exhaust, stall indicator, surface control, veto, excellent. Okay, so now we go fuel up. We, hang on. Well, yeah, okay. So we zoop and we zoop and we zoop and we zoop and we parking brake is off because we unchocked it. Yes. Excellent. I feel like I'm forgetting things. Well, so, okay, we will go. We're going to quick look at the. No, we won't look at the me chart yet. Um, maybe we'll go over potential, potential alternate stuff in the air after we get the me chart for the. Um, the weather for the other airport, because increasing the workload is what good pilots do. If that wasn't sarcastic enough, I will say that was sarcastic. Okay, so we take a Hobbs time, fuels on both, circuit breakers, da 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 da, -da. alternate static, brakes, doop doop doop, pedal test, excellent, passenger brief. No talking during takeoff and landing. Seatbelts on at all times. Exits out the doors to the left and right. I would usually say for now, make sure they are locked, closed and locked, but it's, it has also been hot. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to bake inside the tin can. So we will make sure everything's good after taxiing. So seat track back and lock. Oh, back and lock chicken. Avionics are, oops, sorry. Avionics are off. Autopilot is irrelevant. Car heat is off. Beacon goes on. We prime it. Um, new instructor uh, told me, don't prime it during the, uh, during the hot weather because it probably won't start. So I guess we will not prime it, question mark. Uh, mixture goes full rich. Throttle is slight. Brakes are on. Clear that prop. Master goes on. And mags start. Excellent. We check our oil pressure. It's working up to it. Flaps go up. Avionics go on. Nav lights as required. We will do a big ol' yes. Frequencies. All right. Let's figure it out, shall we? We're going to bring that throttle back a little bit to 1,000. Um, we want for here. one two two point nine for the CTAF. So we'd put that in there. And actually, shoot, hang on. We're going to quit, go back to the web. Where am I at? Web full. And we're going to find the AFD for here. Oh, 
Yes, that one. Thank you. There. Ugh, to see about frequencies. So. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, CTAV is 122.9, so that's what we'll be on. Um, clearance delivery for clearance delivery contact blah at the phone number when approach close contact Jacksonville okay so we would call to get our clearance excellent um, we would expect to be sent off to West of VAD 360. So we, where is VAD? <laughs> is it, is it just a K VAD? Hang on. That one, okay. So if we are, we are west of the 360 radial, we're going to expect 132.375 for our craft clearance. Uh, one three two point where to go? One three two point three seven five is what we're gonna expect. One three two point three seven five. Our altitude, we're hop skipping and a jumping, so we're gonna expect three thousand for our altitude. Um, it'll be a void if not off in ten minutes probably. We're going to K Vold, I think. Uh, we're expecting to, <laughs> this is what we were supposed to do. Okay, hang on. So we need our, that, and then we need our takeoff minimums. Hello, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I have to look at, hang on. Cute, very cool. I like that. Yes, hello, hello. We're we're getting we're getting into the plane. Um, just trying to do things properly, somewhat kind of expedited proper. Uh, where are we? Quitman, 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 Quitman. All right, so Quitman, Georgia, Quitman Brooks County. Takeoff minimums. Sorry for the accent. <laughs> Takeoff minimums. So if we're to part or er, runway one zero, standard with minimum climb, two ninety feet per nautical mile should be good. Uh huh. Okay. Departure procedure for climb in visual conditions. Cross Quitman Brooks County Airport at or above thirteen hundred before proceeding on course. Interesting. Okay. So if we're going that ish way, if we're pointing that what? So, I get, so I'm taking off this way, but if I'm going that way, I don't quite understand. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Because, okay, just, hang, no, this way. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, if I'm taking off this way and I'm going that way, I'm going east anyway, do I still go over the airport? I don't know. Runway 28, climb a heading of 279 degrees until 700 before turning south. I, 
<sighs> we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens once we actually get there. We're going to um, just expect direct to... to cave old yeah whatever and we're just gonna go with it okay good all right we got that down and now I have to get back to um this one there okay and I didn't even have it up I'm sorry <laughs> I forgot to switch it but yeah well here I'll quick hang on so this is what I was agonizing over. So we are at Quitman, departure procedure for climb and visual conditions. You cross the airport at or above 1300 before proceeding on course. So is that, uh, again, so do you, do you climb to a certain altitude and then like turn back around and cross over the airport and then, or I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say, we're gonna climb runway heading to 1300 and then proceed on course if we're taking off runway one zero otherwise we'll look at two eight once we get there excellent perfect good great next um so our frequencies that's what we were doing so we would call up clearance we would have filed our flight plan um and we would call clearance and get our frequencies in. So we need our other frequencies, which are, oh, 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 shoot, hang on. Yeah, that, no, but now I have to, boop, and uh, boop, boop, there, okay. Rawr. Um. No restrictive airspace near the airport? There might be. <laughs> there is. It's it's all underneath MOAs. But we're not worried about it right now because when I do check ride, I won't have that issue. So if my four flight could work the way it's supposed to. Um Oh. Oh, okay. I mean, oh, message, message, do not use for navigation. Sounds good. I won't do that. So we would put in 122.9. Now I got to remember how to do this. Oop, uh, one. One to two point nine. That goes in the box. And then we're likely going to get one, three, two point three, seven, five for our Valdosta um, departure three, seven, five. Okay, excellent. Um, the localizer. Is going to be on one one zero point nine. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. One one zero point nine. So we're gonna flip there, and we're gonna flip one one zero point nine. Hi. There we go. So that's going to be there. And then we also need the VOR. So OTK is 114.8. So we'll be swapping those. Excellent. Okay. Or obstacles. No restrictive airspace near the airport. So yeah. So it might. It might be uh, the MOA thing. I'll quick look. Not that I would really understand it if it was. Ah, 
This is right in the middle of um, splitting split chart chart split. So it's throwing it's throwing the charts up on my floor flight. It's really irritating. There. Okay. So we have the MOA details. It's eight thousand. The the Aroka is thirty four hundred, thirty four hundred, twenty six hundred. Well, and hang on. We'll also look at for Ford Juliet Fife details, procedure, approach, map. Thirty three hundred is the minimum safe altitude. So yeah, maybe maybe that is. Maybe it's because of that minimum safe altitude. Uh, okay, initialized position is, oops, for Juliet Fife. Enter. And then we put into the flight plan. We click and we boop, we boop. Uh, and we f for Juliet. Oh no, you little. <laughs> That's so annoying. Four. Juliet Fife. Enter. Next is Kvold. And since we're so close, we're just going to go ahead and procedure, select approach, enter, ILS 35, enter, vectors, no, we're going to face it. And we're just going to load it. We're really close. Like, it's like eight minutes out. So, uh. So we usually wouldn't, but we are going to activate it. GPS guidance is for monitoring only. Activate approach. Yes. So did I mess something up? So then we zoom out so we can see. Yeah, it popped us right in there. Excellent. Oh, that's so cool. Direct track 138. All right, so we got that in there. Is there anything else we need to do? We're starting with GPS, but we have to press the $500 button when, um, yeah. So I'm going to try and get this to a place where, um, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shoop it down for now. Shoop. And put it there maybe. That's fine. Let me know if that's irritating. And then we will Yes, that should be good. Alright, so we got our frequencies in. Ah we're Leaning the mixture because it's flipping hot out. Okay. Got our frequencies and now we get our METAR. It, this stuff is so tedious and I'm not efficient at it. So I am sorry. Uh, equipment Brooks. No METAR is available. Are you kidding me? No METAR is available. No METAR is available. No METAR is <laughs> Okay. All right. So we'll go Valdo... Valdosta! Excellent. So, um... 
Kilo, Victor, Lima Delta, excellent. Uh, the 20th at 0333 Zulu. Um, so that is... E not most recent? Kind of. It's all right. Automated. Um, wind is 200 at 3 knots. 10 statute miles visibility. Scattered at 300. So, oh. So it's not IFR anymore. <laughs> well, dang it. Whatever. This is fine. Yeah, it's not. It's straight VFR. Ah, gosh darn it. Um, that's fine. Altimeter is three zero zero six. So we'll pop in our three zero zero six. Rar. I think that's all right. So it's about 200 feet. Oh, except that's Kivold. So we'll just set it for airport elevation. Airport elevation is 185. So we're going to pop it back a bit. Hmm. Good. Okay. So we're we will have to change our altimeter just a little bit once we get there, potentially. Um I think other than that, we are we've got our ATIS AWAS altimeter. We're gonna taxi. Uh wind is two hundred at three. We'll find a wind sock, hopefully. Oh. Flaps are up. Ugh. Gotta get my tracker. Boop. All right. Oops. All right. So the wind is 200, so we're potentially taking off from 28. So we're going to start taxiing. Um... Uh, I'm sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go that way. And we're going to taxi and hopefully find the windsock. Uh, so as we're taxiing, we're looking at things, making sure it's good. Not too much deviation. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, we're good. Not too much deviation on the attitude indicator. Make sure the altimeter is still good. Watch the turn coordinator or the rate of turn indicator. I'm taxiing here. Make sure it's going in the direction and the ball is going in the opposite direction of the turn. So yeah, we're gonna take off from it's gonna be a crosswind. And we'll take off from two. Two, eight. Although it kind of looks like it's kind of going that way. And the, mm. To be honest, I'm not quite sure. It's not too much of a wind, but... We'll kind of taxi this way and turn around if we need to. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty direct, so we're just going to take off from 2, 8, and voop over the... Um, at least I think this is 2, 8. Yeah, we're going 2, 8. We'll follow our departure procedure. Uh, 
Okay. And technically, I should be facing... that way more. Okay. All right. So we do our run up. <sighs> Brakes are set. Fuels on both. Trim for takeoff. Flight controls. Boopity boop. Boopity boop. Boopity boop. Boopity boop. Elevator is good. Excellent. Uh, mixtures best in power kind of primers and unlocked excellent putting the mixture forward while we're doing our 1700 so we go like that uh. oh no not that way not that way stop it stop it stop it stop it left watch that drop and forward Right, watch that drop and forward. Carpeat, watch that drop and forward. Uh, check the vacuum, amps and volts, excellent, looking good. Oil pressure, oil temperature, idle check closed. Awesome. Make sure it's at a thousand. And then we call up clearance delivery. And they would, and I get, yeah, we just call them. Um, and then, yeah, have that conversation. And then we, and so I don't, I think like if you call them, it's not necessarily, you don't have to do the boop, 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 boop stuff, which makes sense. The ATC stuff where it's strict and in line and whatever. We are at 185. Thank you very much. That's too much. There we go. Uh, so, we would read back. Cleared to Valdosta via direct. Uh, well, actually, sorry, sorry, sorry. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, we're taking out uh, via runway 28. Fly runway heading till 700, then south, and then direct. Um, climb maintain 3000, frequency 132.375. Uh, squawk, blah, 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 blah. Void if not off in one zero minutes. Aight. And they would say read back correct, hopefully. Uh, and then we would switch. No, we would be on CTAF. I need to put my frequencies into here. Shoot. So we have 110.9er and we have a message on our GPS. So we check it. Set course to 138 degrees. All right. Sounds good. One, three, yes, ish. Uh, one, one, zero point, so one, one, four point eight. Ugh. Uh, actually, how did I do this again? Yes. All right. And swap. And one, one, zero point nine. And we're set. And we are just going to swap between them because, th well, I will have, um, the plane is getting fixed this week. Uh, so I will have the dual VOR or ability to have the two different navs, the nav one, nav two. But for now, um, we don't. So we would call out, uh, Equipment, hang on. Equipment traffic, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, departing 28 to the south. 
Whitman. I mean, technically, we are going to the southeast, but but first we're going west, and then we're going south. displaced all right uh and i have to turn the um uh lights off boop boop and real time <sighs> beautiful oh that's frightening um strobe nav lights are on there we oh that's frightening okay we might be doing somewhat of a um zero zero takeoff so we'll see how that goes we'll see what happens um okie dokie all right so we're flying runway heading to what now to 700 feet then turn south and then we go direct Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> heading directly west. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, speaking of frightening, you should see the weather you're setting up for yourself. Describe it. Well, actually, yes. Type it, but don't hit enter until I have taken. <laughs> or I'll just be the good pilot and... And, and not look at the chat <laughs> until I have properly configured myself and everything. All right, so, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna go. Mixture's rich, carb heat's in, we got all our stuff together. Oil pressure is a little less than to be, desi less than desired, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna keep the heading indicator on west. Uh, we have a slight crosswind, I guess, so I'll probably go like that a little bit. That's a little much, a little much, a little much. And going. Gentle, gentle. Fly runway heading, which is 269er, I think. We'll nose down a little bit. We're climbing. We're scanning. And 70 is good, so we can keep going on heading, keep our scan going, keep our scan going. Climbing to 700. We're at about five, 500. And nope, now we're at 500. I can't do math right now. Um, so that's... One hundred and coming up on two hundred, or no, sorry, coming up on that seven hundred. Oh, going a little bit. No, don't look at the stars. Little bit. No. All right, so now we can turn south. So we're heading south, still climbing, keeping our scan going. Standard rate turn to the south. There is our uh, um, whatever it is. The localizer coming in? What? I'm going to have to check that. So, oops, south rolling out. So, we're going to head south for a bit. I don't know. It's essentially a monsoon over Vegas that's making various layers of clouds that end right at minimums and some strong winds that's going to make Tacan navigation very difficult. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> it sounds intense. <laughs> this might be a stupid question. 
D does Vegas get monsoons? <laughs> Hello, how's it going? <laughs> well, speaking of IFR stuff, yes, yes. All right, so I've been going south. So uh, I guess I can potentially turn on course now, maybe-ish. Unless, you know what? I'm going to continue to 1300 and then turn, I think. So, oh, we're past it. So we're good. Anyway, never mind, because I can definitely read an altimeter. Uh, you know, Arizona gets monsoons. Don't know about Vegas, but you're limited in DCS. So, uh, sh okay, sounds good. Sh sh it's a thim. You do whatever you want. All right, so getting on course, question mark. Uh, looking at my G... Oh, well. So I'm getting... Uh, uh, well, all right, hang on. Oh, oh, too far. Shoot. So I guess I'm not listening to this GPS. I am on... Hang on. Oh, shoot. I'm not listening to this at all. We are doing... Never mind. Never mind. We're free-flying this. <laughs> I forgot about that. So we're going to... What's it? We're getting up to 3,000. So we... Power back. Pitch down. Ah! Just need the hood. Well, okay. So I did. I tried putting the foggles on once. And it didn't really help or work. Um, so, I mean, I could. I could throw on some clouds. I was trying to get IFR and it didn't work. But, yeah. I mean, I could I could try the foggles again, too, and maybe just adjust it. I think I'm going to put um, duct tape on, on them for actual flying. Nope, 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 nope. For the actual flying, because, like, it, it does. The peripheral stuff is really bugging me that I can see stuff. Uh, got your flight plan loaded for next week. Oh, that's so exciting. Do you got your alternates planned just in case too? <laughs> uh, so we're going to just intercept this line, I guess. Go straight to Phasic. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, and we were at 3,000, so we would contact departure. We would flip our frequency. And, oh, actually, I have to do my last call thing. So, Quitman, traffic. Oh, sorry, Harry. Sorry. Um, yeah, excellent. You were flying MSFS instrument approach over the water and has a little disorientation. was weird. I bet. I bet. Uh, I'm trying to think. I did one where it was right, right near the water, too. And it, it is. It's weird. And that's why it's it's bothering me because I, you know what? We're zooming in. I have to do this thing first. Because I am. I want to be doing this properly. But it's so easy. But I also need that in my scan. So, ah. It is. It's difficult. They should add a Foggles feature. It bugs me that I can see stuff the pilot. Honestly, though... Hello. Ah, I have to look. Uh, uh, kind of. Well, yeah. Can I zoom in on that? Nope. Okay. Er, er, er. Well, thank you. I will. It's going to be bad, but we're going to see what happens. Jarhead, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> Good to have you here. Uh, will be nice to have ADSB in this time. Oh, excellent. Yeah. That's very nice. Oops. Oh, and I, I, I kind of forgot about that, actually. I'm looking forward to all of the planes and doing the plane spotting and seeing the, like, flies. That That's a terrible way to put it, like, flies on rotten fruit. <laughs> Can log my track IR uh, with a button, make it easier for you. Okay, probably. I haven't looked into that stuff, though. I should. 
I need to do that, and I need to do that, Sim. I do. I must. Okay. I also need a trim button that works, but, uh, you know, priorities. So we're like there-ish, and we're like there-ish. So yeah, so I would have d done my last call. So equipment traffic, Cessna, Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, departing southeast, last call, Quitman. Then I would switch over to departure, and this would have been a while ago. I apologize. Um, and I would say Valdosta departure, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1, uh, just just off Quitman Airport uh, at 3,000. Yep. And then they would say, hopefully, radar contact and stuff. And I don't, I don't know, fly direct or something. They'd give me the altimeter, and then I would say whatever it is, 3005 Cessna Hotel Tree 1 Delta 1. Ah. Can I do, like, the old days and just load the 2D panel and make it take up the whole screen? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't. I will. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. And maybe we will try the foggles again. And maybe I just need to, like, I don't know, figure out a way to get it proper and make it work. Because I think it'd be really funny. Because I have, like, the big, the, just, like, the big yellow glasses. So it's entirely fashionable. So. <clears throat> hate the trim button. So we're going to. Uh, wait. Wait. So why I was going to ask why am I getting glide slope readings on the ILS out here, but that's a thing. It's it has a degree of oh god, this way <laughs> um sensitivity, correct? Nah, not a thing anymore. Oh, even in FSX, P3D, newer aircraft didn't even have a 2D cockpit. <sighs> and I am. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful for all the things that they do have in here and have been working on and stuff. But I mean, Foggle feature. It, it just, all, all it has to do is add, add clouds without changing things. Believe it or not, but virtual cockpit used to not be a big thing. Not, oh, sorry. Used to not be a thing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I need to be briefing and I need to put the approach on the screen. Are you trimmed properly? So I can leave you to your devices? Okay, we're good. I hope. Famous last words. Uh getting the uh ba 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 Valdosta Valdosta. Um and hoping for the best. Um what am I doing? Um, I'm trying to get this up on the screen. Uh, Foggle feature. Disable track IR. Zoom in on instruments. But um, I, I would rather it be like, like normal. Like It's one thing to like scan when it's right there, but it's another thing to be looking at stuff and having it move around. And Can you just set whether... To, I can, um, but it... Hang on, let me try and get a little nav map. Uh, web, this one. I hope things are going well. There it is. Okay. Um, can I? There. Okay. I'd say not horrendous, but it is a little bit. So we're going like there. So what happens is there's there can be like icing and then it wrecks the entire weather setup. And I, I like to do the normal weather, like the live weather. Oops. So it does. It messes all that stuff up, which I mean, I can I can plug everything in that it's supposed to. <laughs> but it's a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, 
pro I probably should. But again, my altimeter is going to get all wrecked. Ugh, so much spaghetti. And I don't, I don't know how to, hang on. So what am I, yeah, see, it wiggled me. All right, hang on, pause. So we are at 200 um, runway, weather is 190 at four knots, so not too bad. So we'll do our wind. Oops, oops. Gosh darn it, 190 at, what? Oh, okay, 190, okay, at four, gust is no, um, yes, and then Altimeter is, can I change the altimeter? No. Uh, it's gonna be wonky, but okay, here we go. Um, altitude, uh, I don't, hang on. Sorry. This is why I don't do it. This is why I just look for the IFR airports, even though I fail at it. Approach, ILS, put on the map, close. What am I looking for? Uh, I need... Do I do... So do I do 489 or do I do 289? For the... Cla or, so 500 or 300. We'll see what happens if I do 300. Because we're going missed anyway. So... So... Oops. So 300 is the bottom. Uh, and it's a big one. Coverage, boom. Oops. Density, boom. Coverage, boom. All right, there we go. And we'll see what happens with the altimeter. Uh, um, that's quite the difference. So I think we probably just got to do two, nine or nine or two. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, probably two ninety nine or two. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, glide slope. It, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, ah. Hang on. <laughs> could we? Wait, where? Could you imagine? Right, exactly. Just make it like one hundred fifty degrees outside, so ice can't fall. Right there we go. <laughs> um, glide slope is just like the localizer signal, except vertically polarized. It's only legal to use within the standard service volume. Right, unless extended. Can get glide slope signals outside that, but they may be false. Excellent. Okay check nearest ATIS. So it, what, 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 yeah. So doing the weather like that, it changes it. So there is, there's a something somewhere, altitude calculation, precipitation, snow depth, lightning. Yeah. So two nine or nine or two. Yeah. Although, otherwise I would have been, I, I would have been fine on the thing, but e. Okay. So we're going to be okay with that and see what happens. All right, there we go. Oh, was that lightning? Um, why? We're getting back down to 3000. Cuz my trim wheel is dumb. We're going Didn't see you could actually set the pressure. Yes, yes you can. So then, yeah, so once you go off of live weather, it just reverts any everything to default. Oh, so technically, shoot, I could have, I, I could have just changed the pressure. Hang on. So what is, what is the pressure? Pressure is three zero zero five. So we'll do the three zero zero five. Uh-huh. One more. Sure. 
and then we will change this to three zero dot zero five there and we'll see how that works all right mission has been accomplished you have successfully set up a monsoon hell for you to make an approach already giving getting nervous in anticipation i'm nervous for you but uh i'm also really looking forward to it <laughs> Okay. Oops, 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 oops. Okay. Going and checking where we're at. All right, here we go. So we need to brief the approach. Um, it is ILS or localizer. Well, and so now all of my stuff is, I had it almost trimmed. And now I'm fighting it. Ah. Um, track 140. Sounds about right. Excellent. So now getting, bringing this out a little bit more. Pitching down, trimming down. Gosh darn it. Uh. Sorry, I'm fighting my trim wheel. Okay. All right. All right. So briefing. ILS or localizer runway three five. It is up to date. It is Valdosta. Set up, we got 110.9er. Um, approach course is going to be 356. But since it's an ILS localizer, um, we it's just going to do it for us, but we'll keep it in mind. Uh, we got 8,000 feet of runway. Touchdown zone is 200. Getting the DME from OTK, which is... Look back up, bringing the power up, turning to our proper heading of 140. And I think I'm actually going to do a, what is it called? Uh... Uh, uh, can you do your own lead radial? <laughs> One seven nine. Bringing power up, bringing. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Getting back on track. So I want to So my GPS altitude is saying Oh, okay, no, that's correct. Yep, that's correct. I don't have to follow the lead radial. Well, so this one's kind of confused. <laughs> there's no procedure turn authorized. And then there's lead radials off of the, the VOR at the runway. So I guess, oh, shoot, was I maybe supposed to? Hang on. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, so I would, 
I'd be off a GPS now and onto the localizer? Question mark. I don't know. No procedure term period. Right. Right. Um. So, uh, since I'm coming from like the northwest, um, that lead radial. Am I supposed to follow? that and then turn left into the localizer so make like kind of like a, a rectangular sort of a thing if that makes sense I don't know I don't know I don't quite know how to read this one <laughs> or at least how to fly it so I'm coming into FASIC Uh, things just adjusted. We're going to... Oh, so we are at 90 knots. So we're going to keep it at 90 knots, I guess. So we're going to get to a 9-4 heading because we're on the Greenville VOR 9-4 radial. Even though we don't have that in. We're getting radar vectored to our initial approach fix. All right, so we should be coming into the localizer. And so now we would pretend, oh, message is do not use for the navigation. OK, cool. Change to localizer. Once we, once we see that start coming in, we shall turn, intercept it. Somebody squawking 7700. And I hate my trim button. It's a tight turn onto the localizer, but legal. Okay, so it is. So you would technically flippin', flappin', floopin'. Uh, uh, it appears the localizer is coming in. So we're going to start our turn, especially because we need to turn like uh, a lot. So standard rate, standard rate, standard rate. Uh huh. And we're going to blast through the localizer. <laughs> and once we're on it, we can be at 2000. And uh, would ATC, oops, have brought us down already Our approach course is three five six so keep turning keep turning keep turning intercept 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 stop going up oh my gosh nope correct so we're gonna fly and we're gonna drop it down oop Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We're not going to drop it down. Hang on. We are going to drop it down. Because we're intercepting the... Yeah, we're intercepting the thing. Stop going down so fast. Oh, God, I apologize. Uh, uh. Sorry, I'll be there in a second. Let me try and get this aircraft under control. Um, so we're getting down to 2000. Um, we're getting onto our thing. I mean, tech. No, okay. Nope. Ugh. Okay. Huh. 
Lead radial is just a two mile warning. What does that mean? Hello, Chucky, how's it going? <sighs> okay, so we're, uh, no, not that far, not that far, not that far. We're descending, you know what? 500 feet a minute, pitch for 500. Oops, oops, we wanna stay, nope, 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 we wanna stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. We're gonna aim for 220. All right, so 356. So nope, 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 nope. No, nay, 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 nay. Sorry. Okay. Getting back on. Oh, oh my gosh. What was that? It was just the ripple of. Gosh darn it. Okay. So we're at our 2000. Keeping it there. Keeping it there. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get somewhat stabilized. Uh, okay. So we got to our intermediate fix. It's a new word. Okay. My God, <gasps> why? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, ah. Why, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Ah. Huh? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry. Okay. Man, that means you were so close to being right about those earlier. The the lead radials. Okay. So then it's still up to you to determine when you turn. Oh, based on ground speed and the angle of the turn. Ah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get that nose over, get that nose over. And we're coming back in, so now we get that nose back over. Oh gosh, darn it. Okay, we're fine, this is fine. Nope, get over, get over, get over. Nope, 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 okay, stop it. Nope. And as always, remember, I am better in the actual play. <laughs> may not seem like it. You may not believe me, but I am. I promise. Get back on there. We're coming up to Kagi. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, getting that way. And we're waiting for that glide slope to come in. And we're following that down to about 500 or like 495-ish. Going like there. Three fifty six. Okay. Ah, so close yet so far. So, uh, okay. So then again, what, when are you supposed to turn 
onto the lead radials. Like what? Like what's point A and point B for them? And I apologize. Um. Okay, so we're getting. Okay, I'm gonna stop using my ailerons. Hopefully, kind of ish. We're gonna start following that glide slope. Oops, oops, oops. Pushing that nose down. Oops, nope. Leveling the wings. Uh, no. Okay. Um. And I failed check ride because it was a full deflection. <laughs> Dang it. Oops. Need a little bit more of that. Watching for 490. Come on. Getting back over. Following that glide slope. Um and carb heat goes out fuels on both we're gonna get back up on that glide slope uh undercarriage is fixed mixture is full rich we are fully deflected <laughs> mixture is full rich power propeller pump safety seatbelt security uh we're at 1500 so another thousand and we just need to keep a proper flipping heading there, like there-ish. Stay there. Stay there. Get back. Oop, no. Over there-ish. Missed approach procedure. Climb to 1,200 and left turn to 2,000. See a beacon. Getting back on course, getting back up on that glide slope. Oh, oh, it's not a beacon. It's the lights. Yay! Two nautical mile final runway three six. It's three five. So we are. We're going to keep going. Um, and get down to the decision altitude. And once I go miss, I'm going to pause and I'm going to read all that so I understand these things. <laughs> Getting back on. Oh, that's a little far. That's a little far. Now we go down. Oopsie daisy. And so again, now that I see the pappy on the side, if I lost, well, technically it's not, hang on. If my localizer ILS went funny, I could still just follow that, correct? Four, eight, nine, so, oops, oops, oops. So we keep going, keep going down, keep going down, keep going down, keep going down. Hit that 500, look up, excellent. Then we power up. Car peak goes in. Climb to 1200 and then start climbing. So we're climbing straight on like 356 to 1200. And it's not reverse sensing yet. So I can technically still follow that on my way out. Twelve hundred left turn two thousand and direct to OTK. So now we flip. Um, uh, 
Oh, so I'm like right here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, okay, so 90 degrees in. All right, I'm going to pause so I can figure this out. Okay, hang on. All right, understanding things. This approach chart is funny. I kind of thought so. Got three crossing radials depicted from... Oh, no, 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 there. Are we good? Are we okay? Shh. Are you still going to keep going? Hang on. We're going to get level. There. Hopefully that works. La. Approach chart is funny. Got three crossing radials depicted from... Hang on. Procedure. Approach. I guess I could just look on this thing. And I'm going to go like this, too. Boom. Okay, we're looking. So, uh, we got three crossing radials depicted from Greenville. Right. There, there, there. Off the chart to the left, also depicted on the chart with the not to scale symbol. Right. Boom. Don't actually fly a lead radial. It's just guidance to let you know the localizer or final approach course is coming. Okay. And that's from OTK. So that's if you have... So technically you would need a dual like dual nav right you would need that VOR on at all times question mark okay also have DME to do that in this case so the LR just becomes a different method oh okay okay sounds good sounds good got you can be visual to the runway at this point however if you lose visual contact and you cannot remain established on the instrument approach procedure then you should go missed can be visual to the runway at this point Okay. Can remain on the approach if you lose visual, provided you're still above. Right, right. Active pause sucks. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Don't want panic attack later. Are you talking about mine or are you working on something? It still applies flight dynamics and engine. Right! And just, you know, bleh. just hit escape and go to the. Oh. That's a much better idea. Thank you. <laughs> You would need a second nav. Okay, and so that's one of the uh, gotcha things, correct? Because you have this, right? And it doesn't say you need anything else except for DME from OTK VOR DME in here, right? So that's technically, it doesn't say required, but it is required. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to get the uh, next one up, I guess. And we'll do the potentially, let me see. And we're just going to land after this one. So VOR weather is 190 at 4. So best runway is 22 or 18. 22 or 18. So. 2218, so we'll probably do VOR to runway 7. So we'll pop that up. Where am I? Here we are. Open. So I have to go all the way back out there again? No. Nope, nope. We're going the other way. Uh, okay. Uh, 
no talking about that free fall a minute ago as you watched lights streak across the screen. I know I was. I started I started freaking out. It, yeah, it was it was kind of spooky. It was kind of scary. Uh, but but did it took care of it. It was all good. Correct. Don't need DME and a second now. So you don't need me and a second now. Okay. So, sorry. Hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this stuff organized and I'm gonna ask a probably stupid question, but you know what? I need I need to ask these things. And boop. And so all right. So if I just had this one nav, right? Is it okay that I'm swapping between the localizer and the VOR? Because I wouldn't technically get the DME unless I'm on the VOR thing, correct? I I don't know. I'm going to get I'm going to get I'm going to get set up in the um Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this to 90 degrees, which is what it's supposed to be. We're gonna do one turn in the hold to get ourselves organized. Um, and I think we're basically right at the VOR, which is excellent. Is that where I need it to be? Slightly not where I want it to be, but okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Um, and we need to be at and climb to 2000. Okay. No, I need to keep it on the, is that supposed to be a localizer? <laughs> localizer, right? But am I misunderstanding what second nav is? Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because the DME comes from the VOR. I'm sorry if I'm misunderstanding. And meaning uh, I am misunderstanding. And so I'm sorry. So we're going to turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to do the hold. We're going to do the hold. We're figuring things out. Okay, so we are, yep, so that's the thing. So we're going to be, oops, climbing, and we're turning, and we're starting our timer. Uh, turn, time, turn, and we're climbing, so we need full power. Carb heat is good. Uh, bringing it up. Correct. Maybe I, I misunderstood the question. <laughs> okay. Uh, um... And I might just be speaking gibberish at this point. <laughs> so we're watching for that flip. Okay, so, um, but we're going to keep, oh, now we start the timer. Timer for a minute, get to that westerly heading, keep it at 2,000. So like this is nav one, this is nav two, correct? So are you required to have this second one or can you flip between the localizer and the uh, VOR? Um, okay, keep it on west, uh, descending a little bit, keeping it on west. Nav2 needs to be set to either OTK for DME fixes or GEF for cross radials. R right. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, okay, 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 okay. Got that. Sorry, I was. I was misunderstanding that a little bit. And then, so do you need a second nav? Or can you do it on one nav, nav and flip between? Like I'm trying to do, or I tried to do, I guess. 
Well, I mean, technically I use my... Oh, shoot. Minute. Ah. And turning. And <laughs> we're turning. Back to 90 degrees. Uh, time, turn, tune. Nope, hang on. Yeah, and number one instructor um, retaught me not to time first. So turn, time, tune. We're good. Twist. We're where we need to be. Throttle. We're kind of okay. Talk. Oh, so I, I would have said uh, Valdosta departure. Cessna Hotel Tree 1, Delta 1. On the mist, runway three five. Don't need either if ATC has radar. Okay. Oh, oh shoot. Hang on. I gotta uh, get back on my out of my radar. So if I was if I was flying the approach all by my lonesome, and and that's that's what I figured is that you would need that DME at all times. And then you need the localizer at all times. So technically, a second nav is required for this approach. Correct. Um, so we need to get back onto. Uh, did I time? Shoot. Um, and we're supposed to be briefing the approach. Ah, okay. So I need to get to where. Oh, so from the VOR. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, only if I'm doing ONAV. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sounds good. Perfect. That makes sense. Ah, ah, ah. No, 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 no. Getting back to the... Getting back to the VOR. We're going to try and do one more turn in the hold. So, uh, Valdosta departure, whoever I'm talking, oop, okay, so now we turn. Or whoever I'm talking to right now, requesting one more turn. One more hold? I don't know. Um, yeah, so standard rate. And we will brief. One, okay, so it's VOR for 17, Valdosta Regional VLD. Uh, it is valid. 114.8, we're at that. Uh, we're still working on getting to west. We're descending a little bit to the 2000. Uh, approach course is going to be one nine or zero. Right now we're on the nine zero, so we'll leave that for a moment. Getting on that. Oops, Daisy two seven zero. Two seven zero. Okay, so and then we time. Okay. So around that 270, we are working on keeping it at 2,000. Um, okay. Uh, we got 8,000 feet of runway. Touchdown zone elevation is 199. Uh, helicopter is irrelevant. VDP not authorized when using. Okay, not irrelevant. Local altimeter, irrelevant. Get back to that 270. Gosh darn it. Checking for a minute. Uh at 33 seconds getting back to 270 getting back to 270 circling uh 41331 not authorized at night so we will not go to those uh okay <sighs> all right And we're turning back. Let's 
standard rate, standard rate, standard rate. Oh gosh! Oh no! Mm, lit just a just a smidge more than standard rate. And we need to get past our ninety degree missed approach. Climb to fifteen hundred. We're gonna go like there and hope for the best. Climb to 1500, then climbing right to 2000, direct to the VOR DME, hold, continue to climb and hold to 2000. Got our frequencies, blah, 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 blah. And we see it coming in, so we start getting back to that 90. And just because I don't want to do another hold, um, I'm just going to quick hope for the best, me tarring. Uh, just kidding. Everything is the same. Perfect. Uh, continuing. So, well, actually. Uh, no, I need that. Oh, 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 that's what I need to do. Sorry. Um, sorry, it's hard to see things on my four flight right now, so I'm trying to figure that out. Oh, what? Oh, I was supposed to, I could have procedure turned, but we just missed approach in the hold, so we'll continue. Um, okay, so we're going to get down to 2,000. We are at 2,000. Hang on. Oh, no. I have to go... <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. I'm a silly. This is why we brief approaches <laughs> first. So we need to because how far are we? Yeah, we're 0.9 nautical miles. So, okay. So I need to go out and do actually do the procedure turn. So we'll do that. We will set our course for the opposite of 190 first. Actually, you know what? We're going to do 190 and then just reverse sense, I think, correct? No. Yes? No. All right. We're going to see what happens. So we're going to make it to the VOR first. So we're going easterly. Was that a flip? Hello, you have an instrument check right coming up in a week and a half. You're nervous. Oh no. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. You've been preparing for this. It's, it's yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. We're at the VOR thing. Um, I, my instructor is nudging me to get mine done in August. I don't think I'm ready. Um, but yeah, that'll, we'll, we'll see. So how long have you been working on it? What are you planning to do with it? Is it just for fun or, uh, okay. Sorry. Working on getting on too. Oh, and I'm supposed to go out for about two minutes. So, oops, oops, oops. Nope, 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 nope. And just, again, disclaimer, uh, or not disclaimer, I don't know. Uh, I am better in the actual plane than I am in here. I promise. So 
So we're going to fly out for two minutes, do the procedure turn, come back in so that we can do the thing. <laughs> oh, okay. One niner zero, so I need to be going like 10 degrees. So, and I do, I think I'm, am I, I'm going to test it. I am reverse sensing on the VOR. So, ah, uh, nope, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000. And, okay, we got one minute left. Yes, good luck. And again, like, like I get, keep, I keep getting told if your instructor thinks you're ready, you're ready. You're going to be good. It's going to be fine. You got your private August last year and started really working on instrument in March. Right now, you're kind of uncertain what your plans are. Awesome. Okay. You'd love to instruct full time, but no from talking with your instructor friends. You can't really make a living off it. Okay. Don't have any interest in multi-engine or airlines. Same, same. So, well, okay. So I'll throw out some possibilities for you that I have gotten. Um, pipeline parachute jumping um hang on hang on hang on uh like the air er, med medical air transport like like the organ things and then like medevac like depending on how you want y yeah uh bush planes yeah there there are there are other options and again, if you are, if you're just like figuring it out right now, that's absolutely fine. You got time. Sorry, I got to do my turn to 325 degrees quick. Ah, not too quick. 325. So, and what, okay, what parts are you most nervous about, I guess? Is it the oral? Is it um, the approaches themselves, like the actual practical part of it? Okay, so we're at 325, ah, flip minute. Three twenty-five. Can you do medical flying in single engine airplanes? I, d I thought about that as I was saying it, my bad. Uh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I haven't looked into it enough yet because I'm not close to it yet. Helicopters freak you out. Okay, that's fair. Oh, no, you can do, um, they, there are airplane ones, but if you lose your engine, you like to glide, not fall out of the sky. That's fair. Uh, no, there are airplane ones, but um, I, I do. I'm not sure about if it if it's just single engine. I feel like probably not. Oh, they are. Okay, excellent. Uh, definitely check out Charlie Foxtrot. He knows a lot more than I do, but also check things with your instructor always. Um, yes. Most nervous for unpublished holds and or arcs. Okay. That's absolutely fair. Um, I'm trying to think. Ah, shoot. Minute. Um, and turning back for a minute to get onto 145 and trying to get down to 2000. Um, so yeah, so there you go. That's that, um, that's actually what my number one number one instructor first instructor uh told me to do was the medevac stuff because i didn't i wasn't interested in the airline stuff either uh so you can you can you can make good money on that um so it depends on the one thing is is it's a lot of times poor weather so you got to be okay with that Oh, keeping at 2,000, keeping at 2,000, keeping at 2,000. And yeah, and that's the thing is like the whole unpublished holds thing. Uh, I don't think we've really even gone over that. So that that's why I feel like I'm not even ready. So yeah, yeah. You if you've if you've worked on it. Oop, hang on. One shoot. 145. 145. Ah. Or. Nope. 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 Gotta. Got to keep going. 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 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. 
get to 145. Hello, thank you. Uh, I will, I will, ch I will check in a second. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm not messing things up too much. Uh, so getting onto 190, it's coming in uh, and actually I'm going to quick uh, there um, nope, 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 nope we're not doing that, we're going to keep going on south for a little bit and then the 190 uh, so we got six, we're at 6.1 miles There. We still have to intercept that radial. And then once we have intercepted that radial. <gasps> ah, thank you. <laughs> I have, I'm gonna check it in a bit. One second. I just wanna line up my line up my uh, thingy and then and then I'll I'll quick get back to that. Ah, and then we'll finish this up. Okay. Pausing. Okay. Crazy condor and midnight. <gasps> Fluting. Hello, thank you. Thanks for putting up with me. All right, quick, quick thing. Looking. One of your friends occasionally flies medical. Not sure which plane, though. Currently flies TBM. Okay, excellent. Partial panel. Okay, partial panel. From rumors, you will likely need to do a VR approach without your heading, attitude, and GPS. I mean, yes, yes. Um... My number one instructor said, at least for mine, so I guess it could be different, but that sounds exactly like what mine is. So you do the ILS or localizer, VOR partial panel, um, and then your GPS. So yeah, yep. Um, so definitely practice that. Um, yeah, what's nav set up? Steam gauge and a G G430. Is that, is that, that's in, that's in real life, correct? <clears throat> Sorry, one second. Uh, okay. Uh. Okay, so I am descending to visual descent point. Uh, hang on. And I would assume maybe also, <laughs> just, I don't know, um, for the partial panel thing, potentially... Like, well, probably not potentially, like, know the systems and stuff, too. I mean, that's kind of a given, but, like, understanding why it happens and, like, what, what can, yeah, why it happens and how the system itself works and stuff. Because I feel like that might potentially come up probably at least in the oral, if not, like, in the air, too. I don't know. I'm still working on getting into... The looking at check ride stuff are you looking at like check ride videos like mock check ride videos um i'm trying to think mm. getting back on and i uh i'm gonna start descending uh because we're 3.1 ah so we need to get to visual descent point so straight in for 17840 we're just going to drop <laughs> gently, gently getting back onto the thing. So technically I should be at my visual descent point. Is that it? Nope. That's not it. Uh, eight, four, zero. Uh, I screwed this up. I completely screwed this up. I take it you're probably, ooh, 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 okay, what's that? I don't know what runway that is. Um, I think that, uh, probably 1-8, I think. 
Uh. Oh no, is this? Hang on. Yes, it's sharp. It's yes. Okay. Ah, okay. Hang on. I'm going to quick land this so that I don't mess anything up and have to go into it. Oh, carp heat goes out. Fuels on both. Undercarriage is fixed. Mixture is full rich. Power propeller pumps. Uh, shoot. Slipping. This is what you should not do, okay? <laughs> okay. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Okay. We got lots of runway. We got lots of runway, but we do need to get onto the center line, onto the center line, onto the center line. Gently, 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 gently. Oh my God. <laughs> See, that would not have worked <laughs> in real life. Um, uh, okay, saving the brakes, I guess. Okay. Uh, <sighs> All right, I'm going to taxi off and I'm going to get back to that. I'm sorry. Uh, and then we would, at some point, yeah, there it is. Uh, ah, gosh darn it. Uh, the plane that I fly in real life likes grass. So, oh, here's an, okay, here's one. We're good. We don't have to do the grass um, bit. So we get clear of the active. All right. And boom. All right. There. Where are we? Val something. Val, Val, Valdosta traffic question mark. No, this is Delta, isn't it? This is a Delta one. Uh, okay, so they would tell me what to do. Yeah, so they would tell me to taxi places, and then I would taxi to those places. Towers over there. So, plate. No. Vault procedure map. Okay, where am I? All right. Okay, so we're gonna taxi that way. Okay. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to taxi horribly because I'm going to be um, going back through and, and reading. Um, uh, airport that has an ILS in your area has a controller that is always in a bad mood. No, oh no. So uh, I'm trying to think. So do you, are you more of a towered pilot or a non-towered pilot? And, and is that the expectation? Is that you're going to be going there? You love talking about the oral portions. Good. You're a teacher in real life, so you have diagrams and everything. Oh, that's so cool. I, that, that, I guess that's kind of maybe the same for me, too, is I, I really like the oral portion because um, it's more of like the book work rather than the practical stuff. I'm not I'm less I'm less good and comfortable with the practical stuff. So excellent. Um, so you'll have that down. Am I stabilized? No, I was not at all stabilized. <laughs> Am I able to land in the touchdown zone? Uh, pretty sure I probably didn't land in the touchdown zone. It's the, um, okay, so it's, it's the first third of the runway, correct? And I'm supposed to technically kind of be aiming for the thousand foot markers, correct? And then how far does, it is, so it's the first, third right yes so eight divided by three is math always gotta peek through your hands when during these landings i know i'm sorry i i again i promise 
in the real plane, I am much better. For some reason, I am just terrible in the sim. Can I turn off here? No, I cannot turn off here. Mar your flight sim landings. Then you like or like that. Right. I don't. I don't know what it is. Um, probably a lot of the, um, uh, uh, the not, not being able to feel it. And it is. The controls are, like, somewhat wibbly and slippery. So I'll blame it on that. It's okay, all instrument students forget how to land. I have heard that. Oh, gosh. So come commercial, it's going to be just learning how to land again. It, it's been nice because in order to get my, um, my cross-country stuff, I've been... Sorry. Um, what? I'm going to park in front of the tower. I don't know why I always like parking in front of the tower. It's kind of like, what? What are you going to do? You can't tell me what to do now. Um, so yeah, so my, my instructor from my home airport went to regionals, so I have to fly up somewhere. And it's not quite a... For instruction now. It's not quite the 50 miles, so I fly up a little further, land there, and then go there. So I have been actually getting... Fair, like consistent landings in so I don't think I'm too bad any like yet but we'll get there probably uh yes when is your check ride specifically tentatively August 1st though your DPE is recovering from surgery so you may need to extend out slightly yeah that yeah that happens a lot I think my private check ride it was like a few months before he actually got it to work so that that'll that'll work it by the by the end of it though you will just want to get it done and it'll probably be better anyway like a grumpy vector for the eyelashes <laughs> i like that oh uh, i mean i probably wouldn't like it in the plane but the idea of it is amusing excuse me controller can i catch the game on channel three no eyelash for you oh my gosh absolutely towered okay nice you fly out of one of the Busiest class delta airports, so you're told it is. Six flight schools and a jet center. Jeez. The VOR airport is untowered. The ILS is towered. And your home airport only has RNAV. Right. Okay. Used to have a localizer, but someone crashed into it. What? Oh, my gosh. So I guess I would assume then it, you, you would probably know better. Are you flying with DPE out of your home airport? Because then I guess I would assume you'd probably go ILS at the towered, VOR partial panel into that untowered, and then the GPS back into your home airport. Plus a hold in there somewhere. <laughs> probably VOR hold. If it's anything like what mine is potentially going to be. So I could be completely wrong. But just in case, you can prepare for that. You got one coming too? <gasps> Excellent. We'll be in October. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, that's so much fun. I'm so happy for all of us. Well, more so for you guys because I'm terrified. <laughs> Your monsoon hell approach doesn't have that. Oh, you, well, you got to add it in though. Yeah. Good luck to both of you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That's so cool. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to, that. yeah, shut down things. Uh, well, we'll look out at how, oh, wait, we'll, does it not kind of... Okay, is it just me or does it kind of look like Mini Predator? That's what it is, right? I've never actually seen that movie. But, like, it just needs an extended... Sorry. It's getting late. Um, live weather. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, a little too... Oh. We might have had some natural stuff. That's fine. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh. Okay. All right. Back in. We'll shut down and then we'll look at the IFR spaghetti. So we look at our checklist and do what we want. Um, so we make sure everything's good. Trim for takeoff. Power is out. Car peak goes in. Flaps would have gone up if we had put any in on our terrible approach. My terrible approach. <laughs> um, then we avionics off. Electrics 
off. Mixture goes out. Magneto out. Boom. Excellent. Oi. Oh, do not forget $500 button. <laughs> that's something that I've been working on, the switching the, um, if, if that's the uh, equipment you have. I'm going to take this off so I can think. God, I'm so loud. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know where to put this. Uh, so I have the Garmin 430. So switching from the CDI... Hang on, the 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 V lock to the GPS is something that I need to remember. We just got that put in, so yeah, it's it's been new. Don't forget the button. Um, you're not adding an ILS station. It's cheating. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, yes, out of your home airport, they typically like to go VFR out toward. Okay, the VOR do. Oh right, I forgot about those. Uh, do unusual attitudes arc and then track into the VOR hold then complete the VOR approach partial panel okay possibly partial panel hold ooh interesting oh interesting okay as well then get on with approach for the ILS and RMAP interesting okay that sounds good what the heck happened to the headset textures in the exterior view yeah it's um i think i think it's been like updated or something but i thought that i re put it back in there it's um the I think it's one of my my the mods that I have, but I don't know. Um, so y yeah, I think they're pretty. I think they're pretty cool and fun at night. <laughs> they're kind of they're kind of silly during the day, but I think they're pretty cool at night. Uh, all right, so uh, I can get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that, and bring up that oh that there usually you're fine with that button okay good good funny story though your instructor and you were in the simulator and couldn't figure out why the VOR wasn't working it took 30 minutes first to figure out we both <laughs> forgot the button in the plane you usually get the button as part of your approach brief but excellent advice okay good I'm glad that oh see and that's the thing is I have done the sim once I'm trying to find time to do it um with um, so I did it with a sub instructor and he didn't really, he had learned it just before we had gone in it. So it was a little wonky. So I'm looking forward to doing stuff with, um, primary instructor right now. Um, but it is, it's, it's so weird. It's still so weird and it's different and yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about it, but yeah, we'll see. I, I would like to get, get some like. I don't want to say pro proper time in it, but yeah, we'll see. What mods add-ons do I use? I don't remember. I will have to look them up. Um, um, uh, well, here, here, I'll, 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 I'll throw that. I, I don't know who's all in, so I'll, I'll just throw this up there if you're not, and I'll try and stick what mods I have, um, in there, and I'll try to um yeah yeah i don't i don't i'm <laughs> i i let other people tell me what to get um and that that's that's what i do so here we go here's our ifr spaghetti we were going this was our direct thing it's terrible it's terrible look at these wiggly wobbly lines so we went out we, we were kind of okay we went straight kind of and then we vooped that way of course and then we wiggled our way <laughs> down and then this is where I was trying to do the sort of lead radial thing. Um, so is this kind of the shape-ish that it's supposed to ish be? Like you're supposed to do that and then like that kind of? And it, no, but it's supposed to be on the radial. I don't know. So we did that and then we wiggled our way in. <laughs> oh God. Uh, and then we went out. We went on the, oops, missed. Um, uh, what oh sorry hang on no 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 so we went out and we went like uh that and we wonked over here and we went joop and joop i don't know what this is but uh, there it is okay yep 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 there so terrible holding and then we 
went out on our procedure turn. It's not horrendous. Compared to everything else, it's not horrendous. <laughs> then we came back in. Um... So where is runway 18? <laughs> I'm I'm concerned. Apparently what? Oh, so it was. It was the one seven. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oops, sorry. There. So yeah, so then we, we, we went in on one Four Flight says one eight. But it's one seven. I don't know. So we went in and then we taxied somewhere. There it is. Taxied and parked. Hey, we actually parked somewhere where we were supposed to. Excellent. Uh, you like it for procedures, but the one your flight school has is terrible for holding altitude. Oh, see, but. <sighs> okay. So on one hand, that's irritating. And it makes it like. I do. I feel like that's one of those things that kind of gives you incorrect like muscle memory and stuff and like mental yeah on the other hand it it helps because it makes it more difficult uh so then it's easier uh once once you have stuff that actually holds your altitude for you unlike this stupid trim button um it's easier kind of at least that's the way i try to look at it uh, what plane do I fly? Uh, 172 Skyhawk. You fly the Piper Warrior. Excellent. Nice. You can fly a Cessna, but don't have many hours in it. Okay. You bounce a lot when landing still. Um, so I have... That's the only plane that I've, like, really specifically flown. Um, I was in a 152, like, once. And I didn't do the landing. Or the takeoff, actually. Um... So, yeah, so I don't have, I have, like, this, this much of anything else. So, at, at least you got some time at it. <laughs> how many, how many hours do I have? I'm coming up on, I'm probably, like, 135 at this point. L like, total, like, overall. Um, so, yeah, I would, I would rather go way over hours, like, minimum required hours. <laughs> And be super comfortable, um, then try and hit those minimums. Um, so, yeah. Have I tried the non-G1000, C172? And I haven't because uh, at the time I didn't know that I should get that. Yeah, so I didn't get it. And so now it's really ex it's really expensive. It's, for me, it's almost like an hour of actual in-flight time like I in real life flight yeah <laughs> the plane that I fly is super cheap so it's less than 100 bucks so basically I either get the sim um steam gauge 172 or I could have an hour of flight time so I'm I might I might at some point just kind of do it and go because I need I do I do need the G one thousand um practice. So I try I try to do it with this little trainer thing. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess you probably don't have the um four thirty. Hang on, let me see what else it has. This trainer here, I'll pop it up quick. There's this trainer that I use. Um so I don't I don't know if it has other ones I mean it has other ones so it has the GPS 400 GNC 420 GNC 420 AW GNS 430 GNS 430AW GPS 500W GPS 500WT GNS 530W GNS 530AW GNS 530WT GNS 530AWT so it has all those if I don't know if you wanted or needed <laughs> outside the airplane practice with that um yeah 
Uh, you're the same way. Got your private at 100 hours and currently have 230. Excellent. See, honestly, like I am. I'm. I'm very much. I. I am. I'm a very bookish person rather than like the practical learning person. So it. It does. The practical stuff comes. Um, slower, much slower for me. <laughs> so yes. Yeah, so it. You and I understand each other. <laughs> this. The skews are confusing. It's the skew again. <laughs> also, again, I, I am I I don't know things. Assume that I don't understand or know things. Um Whoa! I don't know what that is. No need to rush, took a little extra time with your PPL. Right. Yeah. And and and, and it is. It's like I'm I'm look I'm looking to be a good pilot. So that's 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 all that I need. If I need that time, I need that time. Oh, the different editions of Flight Simulator. Right. Yes. And I didn't. I um only got into this. I only got into like any sort of flying stuff at all about a year and a half ish ago. So I am very much an infant <laughs> in terms of aviation knowledge and understanding. And anything that goes with it. So I apologize for not knowing things. I'm still working on learning all the planes. Oh, yeah. Stock keeping unit. Right. Like, so I know that about books, but I wasn't sure where that came in here. So I apologize. Uh, what was about the aircraft rental? Oh, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's nice. Um, yeah. They, they, they finally did have to, um, up it almost ten dollars but it's still underneath the uh the hundred dollar thing and it has it's been super nice and it's well it's it's very it's a very um it's literally just an airport that has a rental aircraft it doesn't have a school attached to it at all um like they my instructor put his card on the board and i called the airport to fly out of there and that's how i got in touch with him and we would just sign up for the plane and go and the ground school I, I did by myself so yeah it's 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 very it's very cheap grass strip um corn and corn well the corn isn't running around i was gonna say corn and dogs running around but corn on both sides of the field and dogs running around so yes less than 100 bucks it's it's been nice you think you need to wash your plane this week for oh yeah 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 do you use the belly soap? <laughs> My instructor sent me a picture of um, the belly soap he was using to clean his um, his plane, and it just tickled me. <laughs> Get it all nice and shiny for next week. Absolutely. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Amazing prices, yes. Wish you had prices like that around here. I know. I Well, depending on how you want to do it and the opportunities that are there i would i would potentially suggest looking into um like well, and again you're pro you're all set up and everything but if you wanted to um save a little bit and just kind of rent on your own you could look at a smaller airport and just see if they have anything for rent yeah just like and really 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 small i'm talking small <laughs> Uh, never actually flown to an actual soft field. It it, it has been really nice because it is it's it's kind of short and it's got um, trees on both sides. So you have to yeah. It's been it's been a good learning experience and getting comfortable with that. Uh, I I would suggest it. I ask your uh, ask your instructor and uh, go. <gasps> Wait. Awesome, you get grass experience. Your school doesn't allow their rentals to land on grass. Oh no! I make the joke in the sim all the time that like whenever I'm deciding to be lazy and taxi not on the uh, where I'm supposed to be, my airplane is good in grass. That's where it feels at home. So <laughs> that's kind of sad, but like okay, I get that. So yeah, so then I would, I would um potentially look for maybe smaller airports and then maybe you would be able to go and try that i don't know maybe did have an opportunity grassland um with a friend ah, 
with a friend from a different state, which was a great experience. Oh, excellent. Oh, fun. Yeah. And then they are. They're usually like the short fields, too. So, yeah, that's good. That's excellent. Almost always try to land on grass. Tires are expensive. Right. Yeah. Hitting it. See y'all tomorrow. Yes. Everybody go check out Charlie Foxtrot. Um, he's having a uh, sim IFR stream tomorrow. Uh, always good. Always a lot of fun. Always um, very informative. And yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for being here. <laughs> good night. Um, and yeah, see you. Ah, <sighs> so yes. Um, I'll get out of this really quick. Yes, and I guess. Oh gosh, it is. It is. It is. It's. It. It is quite late, isn't? It? Oh yes. <laughs> well. Um. Um. Yeah. So I, I don't. I don't. I. I'm sure you have all all your stuff, all your ducks in a row. Um. Oh, do you have the Pilots Cafe worksheet for IFR? Because that's 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 a good one. Um, again, it's not necessarily well. I'm sure in some way it'll be helpful for the uh, uh, practical portion of it. But so the things that I have are, I guess I don't know what your ground schooling um, situation or setup is like, but I'm doing mine all on my own. Um, I assume you took the written, um, best thing ever, the pilot's cafe. Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> um, and then I have the oral, I think it's the ASA oral book, um, that I have, I have yet to go through, uh, doing a lot of mock check ride videos that I want to go through, um, reading the instrument procedures handbook already did the flying handbook so now the procedures handbook and then yeah lots of videos your ground school is self-taught excellent and you just ask your instructor when you have questions right work for private and it's working for this use asa for written and oral excellent also cfi workbooks has good materials oh okay sounds good um so <clears throat> For next, did, did you do Shepherd Air at all for the written? Because that was incredibly helpful for written as well. And I want to say the PPL is the only one that they don't have one for. So once you move into commercial, <laughs> you can use it for that. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to have to look at the CFI workbooks. Is that the one? That's what, that's the website, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think I've seen, yeah, I've definitely seen those. You don't use any online ground. You just read the books. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, well, it's, so it's, 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 oh, shoot. So it's, it's just an app and it basically, it, it's just a, I almost said something. They're a lady like, uh, um, where was I? It's just like, it's basically a question bank, like major question bank. And it has it all in categories and you go through it several times in different ways in order to get it to stick. And the one thing too is, is it has people who take the test, send in new questions that they get so that it's always up to date. So it, yeah, so it, it was, it's, it's really good. Uh, Wi-Fi CFI is a website. Okay. Um, I'm going to pop that in here so I remember it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Wi-Fi CFI. Apparently I have been there because it's purple. Excellent. Urgh. Awesome. Thank you. I'm excited. You use the Glime book for your private. Okay. Sounds good. See, I'm incredibly cheap. So like, I, I don't, I try not to, pay, especially for like the book stuff, because I'm very good at finding things for free, um, online. So I didn't, I didn't do any, well, okay. So for my private, I did the ASA app and that was about like 10 bucks. And then the ASA book, which was like 16 bucks and then sporties. 
uh, plus other um, question banks that I found. And then the free um, FAA materials. Um, so like the uh, Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. I like calling it the FAC. Apparently it's the P-Hack though. So yeah, so then I tried I try to do that I tried to do that for the instrument, but my instructor did suggest Shepard Air, and that's like 45 bucks, and it was. It was incredibly helpful. Um, someone say cheap? I did. Yes. Yes. <laughs> very, very cheap. Yes. Awesome. Okay. I am. I'm going to... <gasps> There's a free mobile app. Excellent. For the Wi-Fi CFI thing. I will. I'm going to have to look at that. Thank you very much. You think your book was only $35? Okay. See, you say you say only, but I, I I'm like still, still, it's too much. <laughs> but yeah, no, I definitely do get that. Um, and it does depend on how you learn as well. Like again, I'm, I'm a very booky person, so I, I learn well. I learn text well, so yeah. <laughs> so I, I do as little as I pay pay for things as little as possible when it comes to that. You did get the climb, climb test book in the ASA one as well to practice for the practical. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I do, I have to, I have to get, get to that. Oh, and, and, and the, um, ACS, um, go through the ACS. I did that for my private and that was incredibly helpful and I'm sure it will be for the, um, instrument one too. Uh, sorry, the written, not, not the practical. Right. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Fair. Um, these sound great. You were told to look into King and was like 500. No, for videos when I, you learn better from a textbook. No, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I guess, yes. So I did the, the proceed. No, sorry. The flying handbook first, the shepherd air for my written. Was that it? Yeah. And then, yeah, the ASA oral, the ACS, I'm going to be going through the instrument procedures handbook from the FAA. And then, yeah, mock check ride videos. <laughs> Honestly, you learn best from watching someone do something than trying it yourself. Okay. It's how you ended up learning DaVinci Resolve. Right. Excellent. I think it, it kind of, it kind of depends. I guess I like starting, I like starting reading about stuff because I, then I get like the knowledge into it. Um, and then, and then, yeah, after that, it helps. Aviation, aviation weather is also a good book. It's on four flight. I am on it. And I just want to say, I, I love four flight so much. <laughs> All of the things that it gives you. So aviation weather. And is that oh, the aviation weather um, advisory circular? Ooh, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I need to put that somewhere. AC's um, instrument. Awesome. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Ah, your dad used the Glime online course. If you remember correctly, they guarantee you will pass the written. Okay, that's fair. Which is nice. Or your money back, I hope. And I mean, if you are, if you're, if, if you're, if you're paying that much, you, you better pass. <laughs> they better have you pass. Book books are nice. Yes, I prefer book books compared to audio books. Yes, yes, definitely. Advisory circular. Yeah, it's a whole textbook. See, when I, when I think of advisory circular, I think of like a sheet, but yeah, that's awesome. Ooh, or AC6B. I guess I saw the four, five, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. I, sorry. I have 6B. So the aviation weather surfaces, services one is the four, five H and then I see 6B for just the aviation weather. Love for flight have the tier subscription that allows you to put the approach plate on the map so you can see your track over the plate. Yes, apparently I do. I didn't think that I did, but then I did it and 
yeah, it happened. So apparently I do. So yes. And it's super nice. <laughs> Most excellent. Yes. 6B. Yes. AC45H is nice too. All right. Hang on. I'm going to put that in there as well. Uh, okay. So, or you know what? I'm going to make a new binder. Awesome. Thank you. I'm probably not going to be able to get through all of that <laughs> by August, but okay. That's awesome. Haven't gotten into that yet, but will soon. Okay. You have Android. Oh, so no four fly through. Okay. 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 Here's the thing. So I had have and slash had an Android and I had the Garmin pilot. Four flight is better. It is. I mean, I guess. I guess I didn't get the um. I didn't get the, ADSB in for it, but it. I did. I got the iPad so that I could get four flight, and I'm currently my phone is almost um uh dead, so I need to get a new phone, and I'm going to get the iPhone. I don't want to, but I will just because of four flight. So I would potentially recommend it. Um, but yeah, I, I have, I, I got through, um, I think the first six months of my private with just the Garmin pilot and not having the ADSB in, and that was including long cross countries. So yes, uh, so yeah, it's it's not it's not it's not terrible, but honestly, like four flight is nice. It's so nice. Uh oh no, oh no, I've missed things. Hang on. Four flight is super useful though. It really is. It and and that's the thing is it has all like it has all of the um like it has the P hack in it, it's got the uh instrument flying and procedures handbook in it. You can just read them right in there and it's good, it's nice. Switch to Apple products for four flight. Yep, yep, yep. That's where I'm that's where I'm getting to. And you use the century. I do too. It's excellent. I love it. Build a Stratix for ADSB and I was going to I was going to do that. Um it's not for Garmin Pilot though. So I think, yes, if if I'm remembering correctly, um Garmin Pilot uh does is not compatible with the built Stratix. So yeah. Someone gave you their GDL, so you already have that. Oh, excellent. Very nice. That's, um, I, ass I assume that's the, uh, the ADSB in thing. Unless I'm incorrect. I'm sorry. iPhone. I know I don't, I don't want to, but I must because it is it, just being able to like check weather and stuff, um, and not have to be carrying my, uh, iPad around all the time everywhere. It's, yeah, the Raspberry Pi plus software defined radio. Yeah, um, I did. I was going to do that one because I was adamant about not getting an iPhone and Apple stuff. And yeah, but it it didn't. It it's not for Garmin. It's so helpful to have four flight on two devices. Yeah, you fly in Texas, so your iPad frequently overheats. So it's good to have your phone on hand too. That's absolutely fair. I haven't had that yet. I've been somewhat protective of it. Um, so. Uh, what is your setup? Because I have the uh, yoke mount, so I assume that that's probably helpful. So I'm not like setting it on top of things. Sort of a DIY Stratus Sentry-ish device, right? I have a sent. Yeah, yep, I have the Sentry already. Um, cause, cause, yeah, I was, I was looking into that one because I was gonna keep the Garmin, but alas, I'm not. One feature you wish Garmin Pilot had is the ability to plan flights on the PC, right? Right. Yeah, it's for the ADSB. And I mean, I would hope that they're working on that they're working on getting it to that point. But yeah. And I'm sure I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's Do do you have it on just a phone or do you have it like on a different device too? Cuz I feel like it'd probably be a little bit small. But then again, you you don't do instrument yet, 
do you? I'm sorry, I can't remember. <laughs> your tablet. Okay, yeah, your tablet seems to handle a two-hour flight without getting too too hot. Haven't really pushed it though. Okay, that's that's fair. And I guess I guess yeah, I haven't done the long flights yet with that. Okay. Uh, you have the knee board that you sometimes have on your leg and sometimes attach the yoke using a terrible DIY hole punch with rubber bands thing. I'm all over that. That's excellent. I thought about doing something like that, but I've gotten to the point where it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't spend much money like anywhere else. So if I'm going to do the, if I'm going to do the flying thing, I'm going to do it like proper. <laughs> your weather app might push just about anything to overheat in Texas. Oh no. Oh no. You for the, the instrument stuff. Yes. Because you wouldn't need it for like the approach stuff then. So it wouldn't be as, I guess I would, it wouldn't be as big of a, an issue if like the screen is kind of smaller, but then you mentioned you had your tablet. So it, so yeah, I just need to read properly <laughs> and faster, I guess. If you enable everything, it'll be unreadable with the amount of information it displays. Good Lord. <laughs> Yoke mounts are money. I know, I know, but it's been really nice. <laughs> um, I, I think... Mine might have been, uh, for some reason, I want to say 60, but I feel like that might not be correct. I'm not sure. You don't have the instrument rating. Right. Okay. I didn't think, I didn't think so. Um, but yeah, so if you have your tablet, then, uh, then, then yeah, then it's, I guess it was a moot point or a moo point, like a cow's opinion. The attempts uh, of 111 not too long ago, you canceled flights because performance charts only want right only went to 104 so we considered it untested oh my gosh so I, i've i've had it i've had it where it's been too cold have not yet had it where it's too hot but i don't know we'll see if we get there your kneeboard is just a clipboard with some velcro and you have like a velcro strap that you wrap around your leg i mean honestly if it works it works same state it's been painful can't wait to leave right don't even know where to mount your tablet Oh, it's 11 inches and the 150 panel is too small. Oh, no. Okay, that's absolutely fair. Uh, when I asked my instructor, he definitely was like, yeah, definitely do the mini. Because <laughs> otherwise it's going to be too big. I'm trying to think. You could dangle it from a string. <laughs> it could work. It could work. Uh, Curious where you fly out of. <gasps> Two weeks of straight hundreds, and we got another week to go still. You don't fly, RL. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. When, when are you going to get started? <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> we got Texas buddies in the chat. Excellent. Oh, I'm going to have to get going. It's it's getting so late. I need to start getting sleep. I'm terrible at it. Get started when your COVID wrecked finances recover. Okay, okay, fine. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. But again, remember, remember, find tiny airport. Tiny, tiny airport. And yeah, get cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap rental. Yeah. Oh, and, and and it's less than 100 wet plane. So, yeah. Tiny airport. I advocate for them. <laughs> so, yes. This has been so much fun. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for putting up with me. And again, always, I am better in the real plane. <laughs> um, so, yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that terrible. Flight school also destroys, destroys finances, right? <laughs> and toddlers. Oh, my gosh. So yeah, you're going to build up the finances to uh, <laughs> wreck them again. It's going to be after you leave Texas. Okay, okay. <laughs> Looking at maybe a Garmin era panel mounted. Okay, I believe the 760 has RNAV approaches. So, right, right, that's right, because you were looking at, yeah, the actual proper avionics, right? Is Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> So, 
so yeah, you would you would be able to do that. You you don't you don't technically need the iPad. You could just do your paper charts. Interesting. And by the time you leave Texas, you might be back storm chasing again. Hopefully, you'll see. <laughs> Gas makes you want to cry. <laughs> oh, it's like it is. It's like that with planes too. So either way, either way, it's gonna be that way. <sighs> so yes. Oh, so I guess um, uh, next time will not be for at least a week and a half, if not full. Sorry, yeah, if not full two weeks. Um, so not not this Sunday. I'm gonna miss Tuesday and um potentially, um I'll do next Sunday. And we'll see what we do. We might wing it. Um, just have a have a fun time, <laughs> and go over Oshkosh stuff. Um, so yeah, and then Tuesday we'll be back with flying again. And I'll be hopefully starting to get into check ride, <laughs> like mock check ride stuff. So this was a mock, mock, mock check ride. Um, so my mock, mock check rides will be actual proper, like oral portion and then flight thing, hopefully. So, uh, uh, wait, so Heidi isn't going to work. No, it will not. I'm sorry. Well, um, Okay, so, yeah, so, ne oh, well, yeah, no, because if it's Wednesday, there's there's a night show on Wednesday, so, yeah, it's not going to work. I'm sorry, and I'm sad because it, yeah, I do, I really do enjoy the uh, the IFR, well, I enjoy them all the time, but, like, the IFR, um, what word am I trying to think of? Uh, not school yeah the the wednesday stuff i like the wednesday stuff specifically because the IR, ifr stuff let me know if you want to meet up next week we can definitely try to make it work um yes you are in my discord we'll we'll figure it out we'll figure it out that'll, yes that'll be good times <laughs> um so yeah so um I, yeah i hope to see you again soon um charlie's got his stream tomorrow um, it's very good. Excellent. Um, and then, yeah, so potentially next Sunday, we'll maybe do flying or maybe I'll finally do the escape thing that I was, that I've been trying to do, <laughs> but it, I just haven't been able to. And then after that, yeah, definitely the Tuesday after next. So August 2nd, I think. Yeah, we'll be back with flying. So yeah, so thanks for being here. Thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> Uh, to ever get lost and found their way here somehow <laughs> and found their way back. Thanks for being here. It's been a lot of fun. What overused joke are you going to abuse now? Hmm. Pavi Rango, brother. Um, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> um, I don't know. I can't think at this point. If I've forgotten anything, I'm sorry. Brain is mush. Good luck with IFR stuff. Yes, you too. Oh, it's going to be so good. And yes, good luck on... Good luck on check ride. So that's a couple weeks for you, and then October for for you. Awesome! Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, yes. Have a great night. You too. Thank you so much. Great to meet everyone. Yes, great to meet you too. It's gonna be great. Ah. Uh, Pavy Randugo, it's a fact at this point. It it is, but I mean, it's also fair. <laughs> it's a fair rant. Ah. <sighs> so yes. Uh, I'll figure out, um, this and yes, there. Um, yeah. Have a great, whatever it's going to be for you. <laughs> um, and yeah, and, and yeah, hope to see you again soon next time. And until then, thanks again and bye. <laughs>